Hey everybody, me and Buster want to say welcome to Little Cahaba Junkin, where we share a whole lot of junkin and even more Jesus. Enjoy our video. Hey everybody, it's me Kayla Friday and welcome back to Little Cahaba Junkin. Today's video is going to be about our yard decorating, getting our yards and our porches ready for summer, for 4th of July, and all the patriotic decor that we love. Also, I'm working in the flower beds, giving them a little refresh, and I'm just gonna take y'all along with us and just show you what we're doing today. So the first thing I've done is make a huge mess. I always say that I am going to put down a sheet or something, but I never do. I just get out my little electric um, hedge trimmers and start whacking <laughs> at stuff. But our hedges were getting a little overgrown, so I came out here and I've trimmed all of them back and shaped them up. So the next thing I'm gonna do is clean all of this up and um, fluff up our pine straw. A lot of y'all had asked why we use pine straw as opposed to mulch in one of my last yard videos. And it's simply because um, we've always used pine straw. I like the look of pine straw. It's affordable and it kind of goes a little bit further than mulch. So I'm gonna clean up all of this, fluff up the flower beds, weed the flower beds, um just kind of get everything back looking nice and then we'll work on putting out our decor and our porch is still like it was for spring got to come out here and break this down and put out some fun patriotic stuff buster brown was just at the window i guess he left but he doesn't get to come out front because when he does he tries to there he is when he comes out front, he tries to wander off, and he's my baby, and I would just go crazy if something happened to him. So, he's just going to observe us and watch us from the window and just supervise. He's a good supervisor, and he would be a good helper, too, but he gets to help Mama in the backyard. Y'all know I just keep it real, and I'm looking real buzzardish. I'm real hot and red and stinky but I've got our straw down and fluffed up and it looks a little rough right now, but the rain, next time it rains, it'll pack all the straw down and make it all blend together really nicely. And as the bottom layer breaks down, the straw will actually create a really nice layer of topsoil. So that's another reason why I like using straw. So I know it looks rough. Corey's still got to cut grass and weed eat. And I've still got to decorate. But another tip, if you don't have a leaf blower like me, um, most of these standard shop bikes, this one's the Stanley one, you can actually attach the suction tubing to the back or the front. But make sure it's empty. Make sure it's not full of garbage or you will spray it out everywhere. But once your inside is empty and clean, you can actually attach this back part right here um, to the hose and it will create a blow instead of a suction. So I use my shop vac as a blower and that's a good way to save money and not have to buy another piece of equipment. So this side is finished. Like I said, once it rains, it will pack down all of this pine straw and make it blend. So I got some planters that were had previously died um, a couple of the flowers I had gotten did not do too well, so I put some brand new flowers. All of my ivy is doing really good. I am continuing just to water it, and I'm wanting this to just kind of vine over and come out of the wheelbarrow. The gardenia is doing really well, and I just planted some new little flowers and gave them a really good drink of water. Tons of terracotta. But this side is looking better already. Like I said, we still gotta cut grass, so y'all ignore that. This little area is still doing really good. The sun fern is doing great. Um, all the ones of the Kimberly ferns that I got have done really well and they're getting so big. Um, I only paid $15 each for those, so I thought that was a really good deal and they've done excellent. And like I said, my little ivy is just doing pretty good. None of it has died yet. So, got one side down. It's looking better. Now we got to go tackle the front. And that is the big part. That's the big project. 
here comes the not so fun part. I'm gonna take everything off of the porch behind me. We're gonna clean it off and then we're gonna start putting things back and get our base. So the big objects like furniture and then we'll start adding in patriotic smalls and just get it ready for the summer. So let's go. Y'all pray for me. I'm already red. My fingers look so good. My husband's just gonna tell me how pretty I am when he gets home. He really will, especially after he sees that I've done some yard work. He's always very appreciative. Um, I like to work in the flower beds myself. Um, I don't tell him to do that because I enjoy it. I love to garden, so here we go. Let's get started. I did have one casualty. I did drop a pot, but I only have about 700 more, so I think we'll be okay. So, got the porch cleaned off, and I'm gonna look at the furniture, add some furniture and some bigger pieces, and then I'm gonna start adding smalls. Also, I don't know if you could tell in the video, but I did use the shop vac as a blower to blow off the porch. Like I said, it is a great tool. If you have one at home and you need a blower, now, it's not going to be as strong as a traditional um, gas-powered, especially, um, blower, but it is a great alternative in a way to save money. But the first thing we're going to do now, um, as far as the porch, is we're going to work on this, because this is like our statement piece for this side. So, I'm going to start adding in some cute summer patriotic stuff, and then I'll show you kind of what I come up with. So, let's go. Can y'all tell my face is getting redder as the video goes along? I am going inside to cool off every so often and take a break, but I'm gonna show you what we did over here on our little outdoor shelf. Buster Brown is still supervising, but this is what I came up with. Since I'm gonna be breaking down all of the springy stuff in the living room, I borrowed some stuff that I was using for display in there added some baseballs. That's a very cheap way to make it look summery. You can find those at the thrift store. Got my campfire marshmallow tin. This is a reproduction. Um, it was only $14. I found it out junking with Aunt Penny, but I still love it. Got my bulber. But this is how this little corner turned out. I think it's pretty cute. Looks pretty good so far. Looks summery. Now I've got to come over here and do this side. All right, guys. So this side was much easier to decorate. I didn't have near as much stuff over here. And I got this cute little flower from our ladies' luncheon, so I wanted to include it out here somewhere, so I just tucked it in there. But this is what we got. It's nothing spectacular or Pinterest worthy, but it's cleaned up and it's junky. Just the way I like it. Okay, folks, I'm finally done with my yard work. My face is all red. I'm dirty. I couldn't stand it. I went ahead and cut the grass and weed eated everything. I had another off day. My poor husband, he works in a machine shop that is about 125 degrees year round from all the machines. And I wasn't going to make him come home from work and cut this grass and weed eat. So one thing about me is I am not afraid of a little bit of work. I like to work hard and I like to take care of our home. So I went ahead and cut the grass and weed eat it. He's going to be tickled when he gets home. 
and I'm gonna just show you our finished product of our front yard. The back, the backyard's got away. That'll be another video, getting it ready, but I'm gonna show y'all what the completed front area looks like, and I hope you like it, and I think it looks a lot better, and it it looks good, or to me, I'm, I guess that's all that matters. Like I said, as long as you love your home, that's what matters. So this is the front of our house. We live in a subdivision, if y'all don't know that. This side doesn't really have a lot. I've got a couple of vintage tricycles and baby bed crib ends. I've got some various flowers. I've got this pretty little rose bush. My hydrangea is doing better this year than it ever has, so I'm really excited about that. And then just some azaleas here and there. And right here, normally I have some lantana that comes back every year. I'm not quite giving up on it yet. Usually it's mid to late June before it starts popping up out of the ground. So I haven't planted anything else right here. And once it comes out, it looks so beautiful. It's just a really pretty yellow and it looks like it's coming out of the flower bed. Also, I'm gonna plant something in there. I'm probably gonna plant something um, like portulaca, portucola, however you wanna say it. Um, I can't exactly remember the real name of it, but something that's very hardy and sun tolerant. So I'm gonna put some stuff in there. Our little dragonfly, little radio flyer, our little chicks. And then over here, I've got this cute little four and star that Aunt Penny gave me. Um, I'm gonna go get some blue paint and paint that four and then maybe add some little stars on it. I think that'll be cute, but I just got it propped up unpainted for now. But like I said, I wanna go get some blue paint, paint that four and then put some little stars on it to go with that red bicycle. And then coming up here on the porch, everything is so clean. I don't know how long it'll stay this way, but goodness, it feels so good when everything is clean. Like I said, it's nothing fancy, but it looks better, so much better than it did. Just kind of getting everything all cleaned up and ready for summer. And we have a really pretty view out there over the um, field. I'll have to show y'all here in a second. But we have a really pretty view, especially when we're sitting up there on the top of the hill in the backyard. You can look out and you can see the farmer down there cutting all the hay and everything and it's just really pretty especially in the evenings so i'm thankful that we live in a subdivision that's small and the yards are a decent size and we've got that beautiful view to look at and over here oh it already looks so much better with the grass cut <laughs> and weed eated love that little picket fence i would love to have some all around the yard and look, the flowers have already perked up with a big old drink of water. Thank goodness for our air conditioner. And that's pretty much it. Gonna do the backyard hopefully tomorrow or the next day, whenever I get a chance, get it looking better again. The only thing about yard work is, or your yard is, it doesn't stay pretty. You gotta constantly keep it up or it's gonna get overgrown. And having a home is a entire job in itself. Now that I'm nice and hot and nasty, it's time to show y'all our big surprise. We put in a pool. I'm just teasing. Y'all look how nasty this backyard is. This is a project for another day. But me and Buster is about to take a big old dip in this $20 inflatable Walmart pool. And then I'm gonna deflate it and pick it up and we'll work on cleaning the backyard tomorrow or the next day but it's gonna be a lot of fun I'm about to I'm about to hop in and just swim around like a mermaid well guys once again thank you for following us here at Little Cahaba Junkin I love you but most importantly Jesus loves you and I'm about to just swim around like a mermaid <sighs> this is nice 
it's not quite deep enough for my big body. But I'm going to make the best of it. That's the thing about life. You just got to make the best of what you got and appreciate all the small blessings. And sometimes a $20 Walmart pool is the biggest blessing on a hot day. Love y'all.